All right? We're going to have T3 and Kite. T3 has been knocking it down with the most insane punishing KP gameplay I have ever seen in a long time. All right? And we also, on the flip side, have Kite's messiest jury gameplay that I have ever seen, all right? This is gonna be insane. I don't know what you're talking, but yo, this is the good excuse to support your locals, whether you're in person or you're on Twitch, okay? Or watching this at home, all right? Yo, this is gonna about to go down, so let's go! Grand Finals at the Hook and Ladder Gamer Skill, let's go! Excellent start right now. Go down! Got the block pokes. DP whips gets punished countered. Yo, let's go. Give us a hot Street Fighter right now, man. Trying to do a safe jump. Yo, leg for days. Leg for days from T3. And that's a perfect game. Yo, right there, man. Yo. Yo, we got Grand Finals right now, and it's getting hot. Already, T3 managed to take the first round with a perfect, mind you. Giving Kite a run from his running. We're not keeping this heat. hot JP gameplay right now. Yo, this is insane. Catch with the speed on what Kite's doing. I know Kite's got the upper hand. Yo, Kite's in a top spot right now, man. But T3 managed to take it again. Already, first point going to T3. Nice. Man, to dodge it in. Ooh. Get those nasty A hits right in there. Stop. T3 is up a storm right now. Don't let it get up and make it Yo, for real, DI train. Oh. oh. T3 knocking it in. Yo. Okay, good throw. Switching sides. But no. T3 taking it again. He is hot right now. Support your locals, fam! <laughs> oh, this is insane right now. Kite is trying to find something else to do right now. And trying to adapt to Mark T3's aggressive gameplay right now. T3, if Kite can manage to hold it down mid-range and find an opening in T3's offense, he can probably manage to punt that and manage to get himself a win. Yo, there's the run, drive us run. Good throw in the corner. Are we having another one? That's the mix. Good low. T3 has those reads right now, man. T3 has those solid reads right now. Burnout, but T3 does not care. Nice read right there. Yo, excellent reads all around on both players right now. Yo, this is insane. Finish it off, baby. Finish it off. What's going to happen? Oh, okay, let's say. She went in low. Get it down. in doubt. Low and slow. Put that down, baby. Went in doubt. Low, slow, and roasted, okay? Okay, starting on strong, aggressive, not getting a major. Yeah, but it's no hope right there. Man, it's a block it in and get a punish. As a punish counter for T3. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Look at the time. Yo, it's those spikes, man. It's that spikes in those reapers. Oh, there's a jump trying to dive kick. Got right into that trap. Nice defense. Yup, big time. Get out that corner. I know it's hard, but get out that corner. Yo, oh. Kite was in a tough spot right there with that GP pressure. It's those spikes every time. Just every backs it up. <laughs> it does damage on the drive meter, too. On top of that. Excellent. Yes, nice. nice. start with the bait. P.I. Trade! Ah, oh, that was a tough one right there. T3 is just holding it out right now. Trying to jump it. I just can't find something in there. T3 is just doing it solid right now. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be insane. Either Pike can manage to run it back. 
They managed to come back in. There we go. Oh, this is going to happen. All right, get that damage up. Slowly pushing the three to the corner. Oh, man, it's a switch sides. Oh, I guess the punish for the dive kick. Got to stop doing that, D. Got to stop doing that, Kite. Got to stop doing that. <laughs> Listen to the man. Yo. Those dive oh, kicks take from his Amy Dive there kicks can be... Uh, exit Reaper. Nice aerial special from uh, Kite. Doing good, doing good. We got the corner go. down, go. mixing it up. Ah, uh, oh, oh, couldn't have cut the sauce right there. Get out of there, get out of there. And those, trying to get go. those parries, get those jump ins. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to big find something damage. on the other side. Just couldn't cool. land it. What's gonna happen? That's gonna be big. Ooh. Big damage did not kill. Big damage Ooh. did not big kill. Ah! Oh. Oh. And that's it, folks. Nope. No. No. Okay. Reset. Yo, yeah, we got a reset. He's gotta do his thing. I think. I think. It, we, I think we need me and him on yeah. the comms for grand. Yo, uh, let's about, go, man. Let's go. Yeah, it's a. I was thinking about like. Yo, third chair. I'm gonna get him in there for this. Oh, it's a yeah, reset already. It is a reset. T3 just managed to do the reset, man. Jesus. Six oh eight. So. Yep. So, oh my god, this is my ride home. I'm just yep. ride home. I'm gonna go. Yep. Dios mio, here we go. Yo, this is gonna be insane. Pike just couldn't have managed to find anything in T3's strong offense, man. It's getting insane. One thing, too, about T3 as a player is that he's very patient. Both these players are very methodical in their approach, right? Yeah, and, definitely. And then, and then you see that, especially. Oh, it tries to cross cut through, teleports. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when, the thing is with T3 is that once he's on a roll, mind you, they played in grand finals the other day at Fire and Dice. Yeah. And Kite reset and won the rap. Yo! So, you know T3's looking for it. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, this is gonna be insane. Both of these guys, Kite is holding it out and burnout along with T3. Oh, level two, yep. Oh! Oh! Oh no, nope. it's away! It's out! The jump out! Okay, the away. Oh, drive rush. Drive rush again. Oh, okay. and then to get the DP. The DP, okay. Oh, low and low. Oh, the DP. Oh, no, it was locked out. No, no. that's a block it. That is so unfortunate right Yo. there. No. So in very rare instances, yeah. it's like due to block stun or something. Yeah. Um, it locks, if you try to go into a wall spot with drive impact when they're stunned, it actually hits that little lock icon. Yo, for real, okay. it's insane how that happens. Man, let's get that DI into that DP. Okay. Kite seems to be nice. holding it out. Okay, nice little forward. The yep. one thing about um, Kite, again, too, we, we can talk about all night. Sure. His offensive, offensive pressure is amazing. The fact that... Yeah. Oh, the shit! Oh, oh, he, he pulled the trick out. My man was like, yo, no. it's the game, dog. Yeah, big time. Oh, nice to throw this, the DI. this might be Kite's house. This oh, might, this oh, oh, J J J J J oh, the oh, 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 T3. That's the first round right there. That's the first match. There is no way. It's 4 0 right now. Yo, it's insane. I would like man. to see Kite take a second and realize what's happening and what's going <laughs> on. Real. It's very. And and just you know, I, I will say, T3 has work, been working just as much as me. Um, yeah. Shout out to him. He runs the CT3 online event every single week. Yeah. It's and nice work, yo. He's busy. Excellent. Yo, this is what it's all about right now, bro. Oh, nice back dash nice to go, bro. bro. Good confirms. Oh, the amnesia check. Another confirm. I don't. I mean, I would like to see him maybe go closer to the corner, maybe like a low forward kind of situation. Yo, okay, nice confirm. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go over there. We'll get the throw. Yo, that's I'm it. The board. Yep. Yep. He seems to be adapting right now. A little bit. Yep. 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 Oh, Actually jumped in right there. He took the drive. Oh, man, it's a command parry just in time. Oh, try to do... So Kai was working on a tech against EX Amnesia. I forget what it was, but I know he was... I bet right. you he was looking for it right there. Yeah, it's, it's a tough thing to get around. Again, the Amnesia. Yo, it's a tough... It's so tough. Oh, the... Oh, oh nice solid no, defense! I mean, he's come back! Level 3, it's level not gonna three. kill. I, again, at that situation with the command throw, I will love to see a 
Beers. Keeps him in the life leap. You know it doesn't burn the round, but now you have to work a little bit more. Does it wall splat? Yup! Pipe manages to take it. This is getting close right now. Pretty sure. You know one of them's gonna pop off of it. Yo. They the pop off is actually gonna be wild between it either will. one of these players. It's gonna be insane, man. Look, I've been loving Kite's insane furry gameplay, if you ask me. I agree. Yeah. Oh, the DI! Oh, that was a good one. That was nice interesting. And solid. No yeah. button press, so that way you didn't get the counter hit. Okay, the try to shimmy out of the Okay, yep. Yeah. It's aired out. Amnesia again. Teeters gotta be careful oh. about those. Solid DP. That's a solid jury playbook right there. Oh, the ant hair. Brother DP. Oh, tries to cross cut through. No dice. No happen. forward again. Oh! So the thing is, is that Kite's doing a really good job of checking him with low forward. Now, yeah, granted, absolutely. JP's low forward is really, really good, but Jury's is that much better. It is. And this is by a little bit. And this matchup is actually not in JP's favor. So the fact that T3 is contesting at this, I know he's been actually labbing this matchup up. T3, right? This was some, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't blame him. Jury is a tough character to get around. That, that DR and the GP, yo, he's no, right. Oh, he is. The back oh, throw. Good back throw, switching sides. Good parry, but couldn't get around it. Oh, the oh, spike. Get the spike the in there. Throw. Yeah, that was a good way to pivotal. Yeah. This is a pivotal round for both players right now. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a tough call. Oh, oh in the DR reaction through the EX Excellent. fireball. Excellent. In the bunk sway. Bunk sway. Let's go. This is trying to save us up. I will oh, like that. And then the amnesia. Yo. Here it goes. Oh, the try. Oh, the chip. Yup. That chip damage. was so, so wild. Much. And they're talking about it too. So like, oh, yeah. they, these guys have been really playing each other a lot. So you Yo, can tell. real. Yo, uh, you know what? Get me, get me into this online, uh, online bracket that T3 does, man. I want some of that, man. Okay, but nice back throw by T3. T3 needs nice. to Nice aerial special from Jury. So I really like that, right? Doing that, pick, that, that instant overhead into yeah. the dive kick to it kind is. of initially pressure. Okay, hey, let's go. Get point. Yep. Off the reset. Can Kite close it out or will T3 make it a game? I, I kind of want to see it again. Yo, I like, and these, I'm loving both of these guys, man. Oh, the throw. It's a walk it out. That was so, I've never seen that from a JP. That was so much. It's getting tight. Go forward. Yup. Oh, God. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, the ghost tries to pay, uh, drive our slow. Blocks. No dice. Blocks oh, the cane. jump. Trying to get the cane I, again. I would like to see an anti air from JP, but it's not going to matter. Oh, it's not going to happen, though. Oh, cash out. I agree. We're going to put him close to burnout in one more situation. This life lead is going to be a pretty yeah, good Yeah, that, that life lead is going to T3 in a oh, really safe out. spot right now. <gasps> nope. Not enough damage in there for burnout. Not enough okay. To stay alive, T3 needs a kite. On the bird, uh -huh. still. Yo, for real. Oh, the Amnesia again! Oh! He's gonna hold a parry, no dice! Oh, get it out! Oh, he touched oh, it through the gun! Sweet! The throw oh, on the, the parry! Oh, the oh, oh, the parry! Oh, damn! The bird oh, parry! The parry again! Let's go! Let's go with that! No answer here from T3! Oh, That's gonna no it! Takes Take. hook and ladder. Hook and ladder. Won the game. Let's go, folks. Let's go. Woo! That was a good set. Support your local squad. Support your local. That's my line. Yo, Kai, get over here. Kai. Kai, I'm going to need you to like make your way over here, please. Would you like to do the honors? Of course. Of course. Absolutely, man. And again. Oh, you busted so it. You busted it. Busted Okay, we're good. You good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, what a tournament. Yo, can you grab Kite when you have a chance? Oh, yeah. Yo. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. Sweat and bullets, man. Sweat and bullets. That fun sway was hella clutch. And at the same time, JP's walking back that T3 did. I have never seen that. 
But good stuff to T3, dude. Yeah. My man's a TO as well. Bro, I have never seen a That is a top three. <laughs> Myself. Oh, yeah. Actually, shout out some more. Yo, can I get a board for the one time? Okay. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Back in the day, I, I actually found that I found the mods out back in like GBS back in the day. I interviewed you interviewed me way back, but now I get to get interviewed. Nate, congratulations. We've known each other now for five years. Damn. Yeah, something like that. So I gotta tell you, um, going into today, how did you? So I know you just came off a, a hard fought grand finals in trouble uh, in a B Oh yeah, B Um, what? Going into today, what was like your game? Did you have any like thoughts going into it? Did you want to just like? Because I know there's a lot of players here that you have played, some you haven't played. I mean, I knew I was gonna win, but like, I, I guess the goal for today was to obviously win. But I don't like, I don't like just winning. You know what I mean? Right. When, I don't like winning when it's easy. Like all the shit that I just told Frank T3. He implemented it mid tournament and he took me four games out and I had to think you had to use my mind. He did the same he did the same thing with me. Yeah, no, I told you some shit and you implemented it in bracket and I was like, this is good. Well the thing because is now okay. now I don't have to always travel to Boston. Even though I'm going to just you know, I've done it for five years now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest, you saying that live on stream makes me a happy camper. Well I mean if you guys get good, I don't have to search for other comp. And then you guys could hopefully That's what we do. And make me think like T3 just did. I was like, oh shit, he's putting the shit out of me. But he suffered his anti -air. So I, I just told him, I'm like, all right, now you're at the step that I'm at. Where you're trying to play the mid range game out, you're so focused on that. Now you're missing anti -airs. That's why if you notice after he, after like the, on the fifth game, I just started jumping at him a lot. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, I was like, all right, he's missing some anti -airs. I get free jump ins. You know? right. So I have a question. So kind of somewhere to something circle back to the fact that you like you were talking about like, the idea of competition now. In terms of CT Street Fighter, where we're kind of at, how do you like? What's your? How do you feel about like everything that we've done? The event itself. I mean. It's good that it's alive because in Dragon Ball it was the wasteland. It was. So we talked about it all the time. So I, I had no practice and I always had to search out. Even though I, I still do that because I made the connections to what I did in Dragon Ball. But now I don't always have to. It's it's pure bad. I had to drive three hours to New York. I can just come here. Yeah, not even drive. There's there's a couple there's a couple spots. You know, you did come out to Fire and Dice. You know, you do compete in CT3, which is kind of like the melting pot of every local. Um, it, honestly, and like I'm gonna be completely biased right now. Seeing like your progress at Evo, I haven't had a second to speak to you at Evo. I was so happy when you got top eight, top six, because I know like what that meant to you. Like that, it was just a lot of work, a lot of everything. Low flex, people probably aren't gonna see this, but the, the Evo medal is actually a flex because I did it from nothing. I did it from nothing. He told me this story too. It's crazy. So I did it from nothing. I was on PS4 netplay, no locals. I only had the GBS and then that died, and then I had online netplay for two years through the pandemic, and then it all culminated at Evo. I fucking did it, but with the hardest character to get. But, but now it's super. And then, and then exactly. No, exactly. And the pivoting for Street Fighter, now I can, all the grind that I did in Dragon Ball is transferred over to this, where it truly matters because this is the biggest game right now, the market right now, and I can translate that. Right now, I don't think I'm like super good at Street Fighter, I think I'm good, but you're fundamentally, you're really fundamentally sound as a player, and like that shows in your gameplay, and the way you methodically break someone down yeah. in, a, in a match, especially in the neutral game, and then once you get that pressure going, we saw that in Dragon Ball, it's obviously related, especially with Jerry. So, my question, obviously, I don't feel like I have to tell you, ask you. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna be at ECT. It's a Dragon Ball event. I he made a joke. He was like, "You don't have to play me. You don't have to play Foki. I have to." Yeah, no, I, I was telling him like, like we've, been, we've, we've been homies for so long. He's already out of Dragon Ball like for a year. I'm still in that. Shit. You know, I'm still. I might, I might as well try. You, you know what's crazy? I'm still gonna pop off for you, like, like we're like best friends. So besides ECT, what else is on the docket for you? Uh, maybe Thunderstruck for Dragon Ball. But for the most part, uh, I mean. 
I want to try to go to UFA, or I want to try to go to Paris Game Week, which is the CPT event. Uh, I don't know which one yet. If UFA gets announced for a World Tour event, I, I, that's right. Dragon Ball, I'll, 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 if not, then, because there's still an event, there's one more event for uh, not announced for the World Tour. So, yeah, uh, Dragon Ball. Right. So I'll go for that. But um, in terms of Street Fighter, wherever, at any major, I'm going to enter Street Fighter and Dragon Ball. So it's like, if you see me at a Dragon Ball major, I'm probably entering Street Fighter. If I go for a Street Fighter, I'm probably going for it. And honestly, too, and the biggest thing, you know, Someone like Kite, right? Like, didn't have anybody for a while. And then with this game, I feel like us bringing back, I made the joke to you. I found the seed in the wasteland. Yeah. It had Street Fighter, it had, it had Street Fighter 6. And then the see kind of, like, the, the community and all the locals do well. I, I will admit it right here. I was a doubter. He, he, he could attest this. I, he told me about these locals, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. And I, I remember I was heartbroken. I was like, but then again, I knew. I knew. I was like, because I know what you're doing, and I, I understand. I gave you the option. And then I popped out to one, and I was like, oh, okay. And then they're kind of the rest of history. And now you still have, you still go to BP, Shasta Boston. We still love y'all as much as you can. But, you know, obviously the biggest thing is support your locals no matter where they are. Yo, know, seriously. So we're going to get out of here because it's a little late. Um, but again, hey, congratulations on everything you've done and continuing, honestly, you know, being where we're at now in terms of players and stuff like that. You know, being there for the players that are coming up and stuff like that, Junior Junes, etc. Um, you know, now it's our time to get back. I think that's what you're saying. The true, the true next CT ascension is when we all get good enough for Hoji and Profit to come. Granted, I probably could ask Hoji to play, but I want him to play. You want to meet them offline and have that actual kiss on conversation. Yeah, I agree. But we're going to get out of here. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Again, I, I honestly came in today thinking I wasn't going to get third. I was like, honestly, I had a conversation with, with Kite before I came. I was like, hey, whatever happens, happens. I took a couple ideas, and I was like, but what a tournament. Shout out to Moore getting fourth out of this bracket, you know, but um, we're getting out of here. I think um, T3 is playing Marvel, most likely, but support your locals. You got Kate, Nate, Kite, congratulations as always. Uh, support your locals and uh, yeah. don't get mixed. <laughs> also, Jerry's broken. Jerry, the cat's broken! <laughs> That's it, folks. And there you have it. Alright, we had some of the hottest matches of the night right here. And let me tell you, let us go back to what freaking T3 did, alright? I have never seen that, alright? And as a matter of fact, T3! Wait, you're gonna do an interview? I, 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 yo, I have never seen that shit that from JP. Oh, wait, I, I, let me talk to this guy. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, I, I have seen Jordan. Because I'm Spanish. <laughs> That's, I, I didn't see that. I didn't go on. Dude, so. Hey, so you, bla you, were, you put me on blast mm -hmm. during CT3. I've known this gentleman for so long, and seeing him like as I grew up in high school and stuff like that, and just kind of run those games with you. I have a question. How did you feel about this event today? It's got like, there's nothing else to say. This venue's got like, student running shit. Got like, games get so sick. I wish I lived closer so I wasn't such a hike up here. Definitely coming out for this like Saturday event was amazing. Yo, the music playing was so lit, me. Like, you guys saw me and Kite were like, yo, fuck the headphones. Like, I'm gonna listen to Street Fighter 4. Like, yeah, that was so, that was so much fun. Yeah, dude, like, he, I was so excited to see Oh, my God. So, yeah, I tried so hard. JP, obviously, we spoke about. You're very outspoken about the character. I got it. You gotta be, you gotta defend him. I will say, how do you feel about JP? in this meta that we have so far. He's great, top five. No question. Like, I, I, like, I think top five, you can, depending on the day, you just walk him around. Like, Cam looks so similar. I think JP plays Street Fighter six better than almost any other character. He has just a wheel of options. Uh, you know, not, nothing against him is free. Now, that doesn't make what he's doing free. He has to commit to stuff. But, like, you can't just DI his fireball. You can get command grab. You can't just jump to, like, he has answers to everything. I think he plays this game so well. I agree. Yeah, I think it's 
the perfect 2x6 character. Yeah, people say he's the best tournament character. I find it hard to disagree with that, to be honest. Now, I know you've been running season 3, and I know you also TO out fire mm -hmm. So besides this event being godlike, CT Street Fighter, what does us being here and like where we're at now mean to you? Well, I'll say, number one, just looking at the bracket when we were showing up, like, half the people here I had never met before, and they answer all my events, so I was so hyped just to come here, just to meet everybody, like, talk to people in person, watch them play, and, you know, obviously local is a completely different feel of playing online. So, like, this means the world to me. And people, I actually, um, uh, mean, real, everybody clapping after that set really got me mad, like, like, after the grand final set, I definitely felt away about that. That was, that was incredible. I thought that set was great. I'm not mad that I lost it. If you guys watched me lose it, fire nice on Thursday, it was way worse than Yeah, that. no, honestly, I got mocked 6-1. Like, that shit was terrible. Yeah. So, losing, like, 3-1 in the last set, 3 on the first set, I'm super happy with that. I've, I've been really, really, really focused on this matchup and trying to get better. It was very hard. And I think with the level of competition we have in the state now, I think Ridiculous. it's actually wild. There's a lot of players, obviously, that can't come to Fire Dice, obviously, vice versa. Big, big queen, you have CT3 holding this down every single Wednesday. Chill, top SCT3 number 10. Hundred dollar pop. Hundred dollar pop this week. Shout out to Jose Sway. Yeah, it's honestly and like the level as, as things go on. I feel like with ECT coming up, I feel like we're gonna be on a spot where I think we could contest. I think like, all right, let, let's really be real about CT placements at Evo. We have an Evo winner who lives in Connecticut. That's Nikki. We have Kite who just got six at Dragon Ball Fighters out of like well over a thousand people. It's incredible. We just had Nargan, 96 out of 2,600 people in Guilty Gear. We have people who are at this extremely high level. And I think Connecticut, as a New England state, is kind of underrated. But ECT, definitely, I want everybody to come out. Like, we can make a name for it. RC can make a name for itself. We have so many strong players. It's actually, we've seen like more in first. Which, um, we Supreme we haven't seen in a while. Um, Dom Dumas, Dom, yourself, me, Freejay. There's too many names on that list. I mean, everybody just saw that Grand Finals watch this whole tournament. I'll be honest, they're like, there are so many players in the state. If they beat me, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, like, no. there's so many strong players here. Yeah, that's why, like, when I was playing you, I was like, oh, you. yeah, honestly, when I was playing you, I was like, that second set, I was like, you know what? If it happens, cool. If it doesn't, you know, I, with, when it comes to you, like, I felt like this, my entire Street Fighter journey was the test of two people, yourself and Free J at home. Love you know, you guys have been the homies since the start. Um, but, again, besides CT3, no, um, <laughs> you said, oh, where? <laughs> I did an interview anonymously. <laughs> Um, where can they find you? Um, uh, uh, it's on T3FGC. T3 underscore FGC on Twitter. It's basically the only social media I use. I'm on Discord if you want to do anything. Hit me up on Discord. That's the best way. And I'm the on Discord every day. I love my new job. And the best thing is, we will say it for you. Please support your locals. Yeah, Yo, absolutely. Dude, if you don't support... Uh, support your locals, and for me personally, report your own scores. Please report your Yo, own scores. Yo, CC Dom. Shout out to Dom. Yo, Dom. Report your scores. Yo, Centra. Central. Oh, Central. Oh, bro. Oh, we'll say this real quick. When I say CT3 is for CT players only, I can't believe I have to say this out loud. CT means Connecticut. I can't believe I actually had someone try to join my tournament and said, yeah, I live in CT, Central. When does that ever happen? Can, can ask you, like, it's any in your whole life, has anyone ever asked you what time zone you're from? No. <laughs> Why would that guy answer the <laughs> I said, are you from CT? Yeah, Central. He joined the Discord and everything. And you were like, I, I heard about it, I was like, what do you mean? It's incredible. I never, ever expected that. That was the best. Reason. But uh, I think that's about it in terms of interviews. Unless there's anybody else you want to get on the mic. I mean, I'm going to get out of here and yes. play some Street Fighter 4. Yeah. You call me out. I'm also undefeated in that game right now. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm Street Fighter 4. T3, congratulations once again. Thank you. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Make sure you guys tune in. You know, we were, the guild was on hiatus for a little bit, um, but we are back every Friday for Street Fighter 6. Make sure you tune in here. Make sure you tune in to CT3 um, on Wednesdays on his stream. Shout out to Free J holding us down, Fire and Ice on Thursdays. Shout out to Hog. Which, by the way, shout out to them being a part of the panel.
Atlantic Shield Anonymous Tour, which is huge. Big time. Very, very huge. Shout out to Artie and all them. Um, big shout out to Imperial as well. Um, shout outs to everybody that supports the locals. Dude, this kind of thing is a dream come true. Shout outs to Robbie. Seriously, Robbie, Nismo, all the staff. You know, Stu, me and Stu go way back years, and the fact that, you know, all this came together, and, like, I, I'm just so thrilled. Yeah. Like, don't ask me about my run, it's, it's cringe. <laughs> oh, you did so, you did, you did not go down easy, bro. You, you went, I told him not to talk about it, and he's still talking about it. That's why I'm not like I know you. Just consider me your fan, okay? Just consider me your fan. And I mean that. But, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Flakes, um, support your locals. We'll see you on Friday for Street Fighter 6. We'll see you on, I believe, Wednesday for Smash Ultimate. I think so. I believe. Guys, support your locals. Drink water, and I'll see you soon. Stay hydrated and stay safe. All right.